So good morning, Gillian. Welcome to the Meyer Heaven. We are really happy to have you here. At Taxmer, we like to share stories and we like to explore our artists' and friends' favorite artworks uh, that they will put in the living room if money and space were an object. If you can introduce yourself a little bit and start with your first choice that you will put in your living room. My name is Gillian Highland. I'm a photographer. I was very excited to think of the three artworks I'd like to have in my home. The first one I've chosen from Grayson Perry. He did a series of tapestries. There were six different ones and they were influenced by society today. He was himself influenced by Hogarth's 18th century paintings and there was eight of them, which depicted the rise and fall of Rakewell. So he was a very rich merchant. He married very rich, he lost his fortune and then he was ended up in the madhouse. So uh, Grayson Perry did a series for Channel 4 where he looked at what is all in, all in the, the taste of Britain. So he spent time with all different kinds of class and society and asked some questions about what they think, what, what their tastes are. And he decided that it's a lot of our, our preferences are influenced by our upbringing and our class and our surroundings. So taking the characters that he met and the experiences that he had, he used a lot of these and incorporated these characters into the tapestries. And I've always been drawn to tapestries. I love standing there and seeing all the details. And it was great to see a modern version. It really vibrant in color, uh, loads of modern icons in there. You've got Apple phones and cat kits and bags and many different things. So the one I pick is the agony in the car park. It's very dramatic. It's got the central figure and he's singing in it. And there's so much chaos and detail and all different things happening around him that I could stand for hours and look at it. Is it quite a dark picture? Uh, the, the, con the, the subject is dark in a way because of the, the kind of turmoil that's going on within it, but the actual tapestry is super bright and um, very interestingly, uh, the animation, animation on the faces is very captivating and you just keep noticing different things within it. Second one is one I think that most people will know, which is The Kids by Gustav Klimt. Um, this I can remember from my childhood. So I think it's one of the, we had a book in our house and I used to, to flick through it all the time. So it, bring back, it brings back a lot of happy memories. Um, and at a young age, you know, you look at classical paintings, they can often be quite dark in their colours and quite serious. Yes. And um, I was always attracted to this particular painting because of its gilded, very um, vibrant aesthetic and the, the pose. So it's of a, a couple embracing, so it's very intimate. And she just has this really serene expression on her face and her beautiful flowing red hair, and he's given her little flowers on her dress. And for me, it's a timeless classic. Uh, even so, it's, you know, today in your living room, it could look like something that you bought yeah. in a modern way. So I think it would be something I'd like to have. Yeah. So my last one, I decided to pick a, a London-based artist called Claire Partington. She's a ceramicist. And I first saw her um, sculptures or vessels in um, North London in Angel. She's with the James Freeman Gallery. And then I had the pleasure of seeing them again with Cynthia Corbett Gallery when they were exhibiting as part of the Young Masters. And um, so I've seen them a couple of times and they're absolutely stunning. So again, they have a very classical look because she's influenced by the uh, medieval times and they've got the 16th, 17th century aesthetic to them. But again, a very contemporary take on it. So the artwork of hers that I would choose is Sanguini. So it is inspired by the medieval humours. So you see this when you first look at it, this beautiful statue. It's... Um, got a very, you know, it's got the Victorian style clothing and she's got a very somber expression. When you look at the details, she has a cigarette in her hand and instead of holding a lamb, she has a chihuahua. And then by her feet, she has an eaten apple, showing that she indulges in her pleasures and some bottles and different things. So it's kind of a, um, a take on modern pleasures and a bit of a play on, on the kind of classic approach to things. And it's just a really beautiful piece of uh, sculpture to have. I'm sure you're leaving Living room will look nice. <laughs> well, there'll be definitely a lot to ponder about yeah. society <laughs> and question through all of them. So. Yeah, Hi, I'm Tom Tomasi and welcome to our channel. I hope you like my art haven and if you do, please comment and share and, and please subscribe. And if you'd like to take part and give us your three wonderful works of art that you love in your living room, uh, please drop us a line. Thanks so much. Bye.